All right, guys, uh, I don't know if you saw it or not, but a few days ago I did a, a video uh, taking a pipe wrench jaw and turning it into a knife. When I started that project, I was really trying to do, I was hoping to turn that into a cleaver. I'd never done a cleaver, and uh, I think that's what we're going to try to do today. I'm a little bit, uh, I'm not extremely optimistic, but we're going to give it a try. What I'd like to do is try to do it out of a piece of cable, where the cable ends up being the handle too. Well, I mean, I, this is Chandler, right? So we're just going to go through some forge welding um, of, of this cable until I get to a point where I have a handle left over that I'm kind of okay with. And, uh, and then I think stack those up and try to draw that out into a cleaver. I think it sounds silly, but it'd be a good exercise in cable uh, welding for sure. And who knows, it just might work. So let me get this cleaned up, we'll get going. And I like to just whack the thing on the anvil just to get the books out of it. trying to tighten that so we have less air and crap to worry about in the forge but crank that sucker right up. see what happens once we get it round down. So I'm gonna, again, my objective is to flip it around, forge well just enough to get one more section and close off the end of that handle. That's the, that's the plan. Again, all I'm trying to do right now is forge well that end up. That seems to help that end going out. Well, it seemed on the last one. Alright, we got a good heat here. I'll stop. Just trying to roll it as I weld it. Alright, we'll go with a three pounder right now. Just hope to set that sucker. my plan. I cut the tail off and ended up with three pieces that I welded together. This piece is still forge welded so I can do something out there if I need to. Um, uh, get everything closed up tight, flux it up and we'll see if we can get a weld on it. Like I said, this it's, a, it's an awful lot to do with a hammer. At least I don't know how to do it well, especially when it's that narrow. Alright, change my mind. I went to the four pounder. I'm going to try to do some, not a lot, but some heavy hits to get that thing down through there. Ooh. 
So here we have it, ground her down. You know, you just don't know. Now the, what I need to do now is draw it this way, which is just a total strain on those god darn uh, welds. So who knows what's gonna happen, but we got that far anyway. Uh, they look good, but at this point you really can't see. Uh, they could just be kind of kissing each other and still look good. Let's give her a go. I really don't want to stretch it out very much, but I don't trust just hitting it with it. I don't trust just hitting it with a cross piece going in the direction of those weapons. Alright. Keep going until you're done or we're not. thickness left. Heat this handle now and get her tightened back up so she doesn't have as much spring. And then nip this end off. That's the next thing. Right there. Get her nice and tight without breaking anything. And then put the curve in that. Right. Something like that. I'm going to get anything special here. Just round this off. Clean it up with the grinder once we get to it. All right, we got it ground up. Uh, just kind of, just to help it look like something. I don't know what it is. It's, the handle's too long, it's handle heavy, it's, I don't know, whatever. It's a project. I'm saying, Tim, I don't know. We're gonna give it a go. Let's heat treat this. We're gonna go in oil on this one, uh, and I'll get it in the fire. Now, let's try this sucker again with just the edge ready. Let's see if that changes things at all. Get her cooled down or cleaned up, and then we'll put a temper on her and we'll finish grinding her up. All right, so there's my variable temper, nice and dark on the spine. Again, uh, if you haven't seen my videos, I, I clamped this into a vise for a heat sink and then um, use a torch on the, on the spine. All right, she's been in there for a few minutes, she looks great. Always looks better wet. All right. Those vertical stripes must be my grind marks. But uh, let's go ahead and fit in. Let's get her neutralized. I'm going to turn around and I'm going to etch that, just that little tip on the end there to see what that looks like. And uh, when that's done, I'll come back, I'll put the edge on it and I'll come back and finish this video. Holy cow, tough project. There you have it. Hopefully you can see that pattern in there. I can't see what you can see. Tell which lighting is better for you, but you definitely have. I can't tell. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Let's try it right here. There you go. A couple of those verticals. I mean, those vertical stripes are from grinding, but you can see the the three different cable patterns in there. Three different layers. And they didn't fall apart totally on me. And then 
blade looks solid. Okay, I can't remember ever being quite so tired after a project. It's been hot today though. Alrighty, so my normal, my normal uh, sharpening thing. A little thick, you know, so, so but with that, with that, um, whatever, with that uh, concave grind, especially once I get it down pat, the problem that I have is, yeah, she's there. I don't know if you can tell, but that edge isn't perfectly straight. It's horrible. But it's all right. I like it. I like it. I hope you can see it. Ooh, there's a good shot of it right there. And there you have it. A cleaver-ish looking something. I, I, don't, don't slam me, by the way. I know how to make. I mean, I don't know how to make cleaver, but I know how to make a cleaver. I mean, you know, I'm not. I'm trying to just draw stuff out with these last couple of projects. But it's uh, definitely some dangerous piece of of equipment. So, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And I, that's I think the first time I've ever really had a success sticking that narrow of a material on a forge well. But there you go. Long version, short version. I don't know what's coming out. Hey, thanks for all your support. Uh, and we're still trying. We're still trying. Some days are harder than others, but we're still trying. Hey, guys, take care. Appreciate it. If you found this video uh, helpful, educational, maybe even if you just found it entertaining uh, and you want to support me, you can jump back to my channel. There's a button on the right-hand side of the screen called Support. And it's kind of like a tip jar. You can go ahead and leave channel a tip for this video, and that'll help me make some more. I guarantee. Thanks for your support, as always.